Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Senja, mod creator of the Shadows of Skellos mods for Funcom's Conan Exiles. As you might have heard, Conan Exiles will be launched on the Epic Games Store at a later date. Currently, there is no direct mod workshop available within the Epic Games Store. You also cannot download mods from the corresponding Steam Workshop page. What will you do now, Exile? I will show you in this video how to download and install the Shadows of Skellos mods. First of all, come into my mod Discord server. You can find the link in the description below. Once you enter the server, you will be asked to pick a role. You can do so on the Pick Your Role channel. Here you can choose the mods you are interested in and choose your preferred language as well. Your role will also enable you to receive all important update announcements in your language. You will also be able to see the corresponding mods and language channels. Please ignore the channels you see on my screen as I do see all channels available. After you pick up your role, please head over to the important stuff channel. Here you can scroll down and find the repository, which is important for Epic Game Store users. Here you can choose the current file you want to download from the corresponding mod. For example, the Shadow of Skelos Extended mod. Just click on the link you see here and your browser window will open and you can see another widget which leads you to the download process. Simply download the file and save it. Once downloaded, you will find the svx extended.pec file in your download folder. Head over to your game folder now. As during creation of this video, Conan Exiles was not yet launched on the Epic Game Store. I just have the Steam version installed. Nevertheless, within the Conan Exiles, the folder structure remains the same. So head over to your Conan Exiles folder, navigate to Conan Sandbox, move to Mod folder, and here you can drag and drop your, your currently downloaded pack file to. You will also find a file called Modlist Text in this directory. For Steam users, you will find all mods and the corresponding Steam Workshop download path within this file. For example, here you can see the Steam equivalent. Here also you can see that I subscribe to multiple mods and, which is most important, you see a leading asterisk in front of every line. This marks the mod to be active. If you want to play on a server as an Epic Games Store user, you can ignore the folder structure. If you want to play on a server that has several mods which are used, you have to ensure to have all pack files dragged and dropped here in your mod folder and also included in your mod list. So how to set up a mod list for Epic Games Store users? Simply create a new empty mod list or use the empty mod list as it's already existing and enter the name of the mod file you want to use. Also make sure you enter a leading asterisk to mark it as being active. When you are playing on a server that requires multiple mods to be installed, make sure that you include all the used mod files in your mod list. Also the um, order is very important, so make sure that you mod list matches the mod list from your server. Also don't forget the asterisk at the beginning of the line as else this mod won't be active in your game. When you have set up your mod list, don't forget to save, close it and the only step to do next is to start the game and enjoy joining a server with mod usage. I hope you enjoyed this video. I was quite nervous and I got a lot of bloopers, which I cut it out. And leave your comments below. I would like if you also subscribe to my channel. You can expect more guides and how to's to come. And I guess I will be more experienced in the next videos. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.